sore, isn't it? Yeah, what I found at our training on Tuesday, ball came from here, and there was a guy there face that way, and I used my ass to just go. What's going on, Tink Tweety? I hope you're all super well. I'm gonna start off this vlog pretty disgustingly. I've come down to the gym, I've arrived, I'm about to head in, but I get in my car and I look, I have a stick up on my windshield. I look a little bit further. I don't know what this is. What on earth is that thing? I'm thinking it's like, I don't know, it looks like a dog's just come into my car and just done a poo. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't. Anyway, so the new program in the gym, I'm inside because it is pouring out. But the new program with the gym into action for the second time today means I can hit it a little bit harder. I think with a lot of stuff at the gym, I have been going, okay, yeah, I can get 105 with my squat. Wow, that's really good. I haven't really been pushing to that I reckon I could get 120 pretty easily. So my whole goal for today is to try and push my numbers up a little bit. And I think that's really going to help with my weight, my strength, and develop me as a player. I can't stop looking at this thing. What? What is it? <laughs> I'll get out of the car and show you guys. Oh, yuck. I also had a quick listen to Anthony Joshua. If you guys don't know who he is, he was the world champion for heavyweight boxing. Lost his titles the other day to Ruiz. I don't know who that guy is, but he won. But Joshua put out a little YouTube video, which you guys can go and watch on his channel. And he said something really interesting because this is his first loss in his career. And he said, one of his sayings is, don't let success get to your head, but also don't let failures get to your heart. And I thought about that. I went, wow, that's, it's keeping you level. So if you have a bad game, don't let that failure get to your heart. If you have the best game in the world, don't let that get to your head and start thinking you're the best player in the world. And it works really interesting because if you have a failure, it doesn't really get to your head too much. It gets to your heart and you question yourself. You question your ability. So really interesting. This is coming from a world champion. So he obviously knows a lot about mentality and what it takes to win and be you know, a true professional. So going to head in there now. Oh, I'm gonna have to make a run for it. Yuck. Have a look at this though. Bang, I have my phone, so probably like another 200 grams. 65, god damn. That's some weight, we're getting there. 64.6 last time, 65, it's pushing up. Into the gym, we got some goblin squats to start off with. This is more used as a warm up for the legs going into those big heavy squats that we're going to go into, the half squats. Probably could have done 20 kilos, but hey, 16 was enough. Now here, reaching 110 kilos, and I reckon I can really push for 120 in the very near future, which is super exciting, man. And then from there, as usual, straight into it. You see, I walk around the box, and I'm like, all right, here we go. Bang, little bunny hop jump, and then explode out. Little rest, and then same again. Little bunny hop. Would have been nice to have a high box, but hey decent now here if you look on the bench press i've actually put some stuff there it's almost as a spotter so if i stop at this point and can't lift it any higher then i have something there to, so that it doesn't fall onto me and that's what allowed me to get to 70 kilos i felt a lot more confident with it and then here some push-up collapse uh that's just for after the bench press again same, similar thing to the box jumps and that was some of the gym stuff and you can see i'm dead so overall, quality, Woo! feeling good. I spoke with Clayton the other day and he said, should be aiming to get up to that 70. Just need to keep eating, making sure that I'm going to the gym regularly at least twice a week in season. That's one of the things, in season you can't be going four times a week, it's, it just doesn't happen. So, gonna go home, I'm gonna get some lunch, I'm going to pick up some sushi because I also gotta cook dinner tonight with Luz. And I've got a shopping list here. Thing's still there. I don't know what it is. Comments below, what is it? Hey, we'll get out and see it. Oh no, I tell you, whatever it is, whoever it is, they haven't been eating the right things. <laughs> right, been back home for a little bit. I had to do some editing, bit of work with steps. I'm trying to get some custom designs for envelopes just to make the whole packaging experience pretty damn cool. But right now, I've got a ball in hand. It's still been really bad weather, and I know if I go down to the park, I'm not going to get the session in that I want to. It's just going to be poor. That's, I was supposed to have Clayton this morning. We are going to go down and do a sprint session, but he said, 
the session that we want to do, we're not going to get the most out of it with the weather. We're not out here going, oh yeah, the weather is bad, we're not going to go. It's, okay, well, the weather's not good, it was pouring this morning, and there was no chance we'd actually be able to do a proper session, if that makes sense. So, right now, doing an indoor session, as you guys know, I've got a pretty good setup. If you take a look at this, I've got a nice area here that I can use. A wall there, some stairs, another wall here. So there's a few little drills that I can implement into here. Maybe a few new ones you guys haven't seen before, but it's all pretty basic stuff. Nothing, nothing too difficult. With an indoor session, you can't really do anything too hard. You can't do shooting unless, like, I don't know, where are you going to shoot? This is only going to be a... 20 minute session, no more than that I don't think. I tell you what though, I'm so feeling that gym session. Not easy at all. Really push myself, which I'm stoked about, but arms are hurting, legs are hurting. It's good though, that's what you want after a gym sash. I started off with some wall juggling, very similar to the juggling I did at the park the other day, rotating what I was doing. So you can see it's left foot, right foot, two touches. Now it's right foot only, working on the ability to only use my right foot, adjust to where the ball's going, think about where I want the ball to go, play that one on, and then the same with the left foot. So it's just adjustment, and this is like, you could look at this as a form of a little agility, because sometimes, you can see it, you gotta have quick feet and then control the ball. It's not just going in and out of a ladder. So, you know, in my opinion, I think doing this sort of thing is much better than agility. So then we go into one touch only, and I think this is the last sort of combination that I do before we move on to the next thing. So right foot and then we move on to the left foot only as well. Great little drill. Find yourself a wall, get down or get in your house and do this super easy and great little drill. Now this one is one of my favorites where kick it up here, the ball bounces randomly and you got to adjust your body, control it. I don't think I'll do a pass. I think what I'm going to do, I always mix it up. What I'll do this time is kick it up here, it's gonna come back down, and I'm going to have to get it under control, do a little turn through that door, or just turn into that corner there, I'll move some of the stuff, just to make sure that you know I can control the ball bouncing. It'd be great if I had someone behind me putting a bit of pressure on, we might even get Puffer Tweety in for a couple minutes. Just pushing, actually, you know what, I'm gonna ask him, and we'll see if we can get a person behind there, ask someone if they can just stand there, put a bit of pressure, elbow you, and stuff like that and just work off them. So I'm gonna see if Puff Tweety's keen. Let's hope so, fingers crossed. So I'm gonna take your spot. I, you're me, I mean the ball's gonna go up and as it's coming down, your job is to do that. Oh, Jesus Christ. And like push me a little bit, yeah, kick okay. me. Okay. And so the whole thing is when it's coming down, bang, I'm here and I'm gonna try and turn or whatever. You got it? Yeah. Don't go too hard, please. <laughs> You can go a bit harder than that. Mm -hmm. Try, Owen, can you try, go directly behind? Mm, I thought I was going to get a shot with the shoulder. No, nah, yeah, that's it. Hey, it hasn't even come down to it. Careful. Don't break anything. Can't be fine. It's a bit anticlimactic for nothings. Oh, the breath. <laughs> Needed to control that one, just got my foot on it. Yeah, what I found, I did my training on Tuesday. Ball came from here, and there was a guy there faced that way. And I used my ass to just go bang, right. get in front, and then I won the ball. Yeah. And it was just the strong core, yeah. bum, you can't get it, and arms. Play in. Yeah. yeah. And it was just bang, and really pushed the guy off balance. So it's not, see, just stop for a minute, put the ball down there. So you know, if you're there, historically over the last 10 years, what you've been trying to do is, is, bang. No, is come in and oh, yeah. for the ball, but your plan, yeah, it's not the ball, it's the stance. Yeah, exactly. It's just 
bang, stop yeah. that, and then you can turn it up with that one. Yeah. And if you come behind me, when if I... you can perfect that, it'll make a huge difference. Oh, I did it with Sam, it was so good. If I go like this, bang, and you come in behind me, yeah, bang. and you've got the strength now to do that. Or I just fall over and I'll yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's quality. Find someone in your house, do that with them. It's the exact same drill I did with Sam the other day, where it's up against the wall. It's the exact same thing, small area, and just working on contact, bang. Exactly like we are talking about, using that to protect the ball. Whew, that was good fun. So again, it's a great drill, good fun, competitive, you have a laugh. There's nothing wrong with that. All right, go loose. How you going? Good. Big day today, you're at uni. Did you work? No. No work, just uni. Although I'm in study mode, so Ooh. I guess it's big. How long till exams? About a week. Right, so you guys always say, why isn't Lucy on the vlogs? I mean, we see each other it's maybe- three times a Yeah, week. maybe three times a week, and sometimes you don't even get on the camera. Yeah. So it's a bit up in the air what happens, but tonight, cooking burgers. Mm -hmm. I've, oh, I haven't even told you. We are making this special sauce called fusion sauce. Oh. Have you heard it? No. Neither have I. But. What? <laughs> I, I looked up a recipe and now I'm a master. Do you know what's in it? I do. I know a thing or two. Okay. So that's going to be the new addition to the burgers this week. Got the mints over there and yeah. Hopefully they're better than last time. The chips were horrible last time, so. Last time you made them or last time we made them? You made them. <laughs> So we got dinner here, serving up. What do you think, Papa Tweety? I don't know yet. Looks good. Yeah, it does. So that's definitely not dinner. We got carrots, <laughs> tomatoes, lettuce, beetroot. Then there's some chips in there, which you can and just footy see. Over footy over there. Then we also got bread, some special sauce, patties, onion. Looks good. Things to serve with. Let's just hope it tastes good. Thank you I'm for helping. Sure <laughs> Right, new day, did an outro this one. I've got a new jacket though. This is something that I'm thinking of bringing to steps. This is only the very beginning design. Uh, I'm, I don't know, I kind of like this own stuff. I think it's pretty cool. We got a hood as well, if I can flip it over. Bang, zip this up and it's looking pretty good, but this is just a factory sample. I haven't labeled it at all. So something like this could be coming soon. I, I don't know, I need to change a few things that I'm not quite happy with. But as I continue to say, steps were taken over. I only tell you guys the truth. But for now, Team Tweety, I'm signing out. Make sure you like it, subscribe, and I didn't judge any other scene around this video. Bye.